Welcome to On the Couch with Marcia M, the show where we talk about real issues with real people. Today, I'm speaking with a lovely guest who's travelled travelled quite far to be here, Munya, and we're speaking about why is he in love with his plus size. Firstly, we're going to listen to some of his poetry and then we're going to have a conversation and include the beautiful Maxine Palmer Hunter. So we're now going to listen to some poetry called Hearts and Minds. Over to you. You see, my heart and my mind are not related. There is no coalition or correlation in parallel dwelling in making decisions. So what my mind chooses, the heart refuses. But what my heart chooses, the mind is obliged to facts and options, including the fictions pertaining the heart's relations. Hence the fact that love is blind to the facts of the mind. What that should not be undermined, but in bold black ink should be indeed underlined and kept in mind. I'm down on my knees, I'm begging you please, try not to be like me. Try not to be caught out by surprise. Cause with a bleeding nostril and black eye, you're gonna pay twice the price. So I took a piece of advice That you only live once Please just make it count Cause you ain't a cat with nine lives So make it count Just make it count Thank you. Something like that. Wonderful That was lovely Thank you, thank you very much Okay. And now Munya awesome. Wow you know I'm a fan. You wow. know I'm a fan. That's good to know. <laughs> you know that you've had me falling at your feet well, because you. of this yeah. particular poem. I'm in love with my plus size. Over to you. You see, you see girls, we males haven't got a foresight. We ain't got a self-fulfilling mentality, so we rely on society. Society says we act this way, we dress this way, we look this way and we love this one. You see, that alone is society's needs. But the only problem with society's needs is that they put scales on your eyelids, which means they put a limit on what you see as to how far and wide the spectrum on the horizon is. But I, the man of great vocabulary, has decided to look on the plus side. Because on the plus side is a plus side. The plus size is a plus sign, and the plus sign is a positive sign. See, all my friends can say, man, you've gone crazy, you're bonkers, you need a psychiatric unit, but you, I'll be like, yeah, but you don't know her heart is in the right place. And if her heart is in the right place, who am I to judge the appearance of the face, and sooner or later the looks of the face is gonna fade? And all my friends will say, mate, you've gone crazy. I say, do you need a psychiatric unit? I'll be like, yeah, but you don't know what it's like to hold it. So I'm like, thank you, Jehovah, because I'm writing solo. And if my gain is that loss, if that loss is my gain, if the witness is out of Jehovah, that's cool. I'm writing solo because I call that YOLO. Because I could lose all my brothers today that will bother the hell out of me. She could walk out of me, that will bother, haunt and kill the hell out of me. I'm going after her because she's the bigger half of me, the so-called better half of me. Because this pain that I feel inside, it won't subside. No, I won't cry. I won't cry no more because sticks and stones may break my bones. Words alone will be my own. Until the day I'm dead and gone, she alone will be my own because I love her to the bone and I miss her till I'm gone. She brings me presents to the presence alone. I don't even need to work alone. Somebody please just leave me alone. Because we're living in a world that is so slim crazy. I wish you'd start on my baby. I know for a fact she drives me crazy, but I'm gonna go crazy Because my anger will erupt like a volcano My blood pressure will arouse like a tsunami And my fists will fly in your direction like the rounds of an AK-47 And my heart will explode like a nuclear warhead in a nuclear warfare In 1945, Hiroshima, Japan And she'll be the only one to have the nerve to come in my way and say Wordplay poet, please, there's no need for this dismay Please, just keep your anger at bay We've got to be on our way that I'll kill my anger straight away But she'll grip my arm more sternly Look at me in the eye I will shed a tear that I'd walk away But I'll be left with my middle finger Protruding through my fist And pointed in your direction But you see the question Is why is a world full of men With high IQs and high mental capabilities Like that of geniuses Still working on the same lame Dumb negative philosophies Like that of idiocracies Because my definition of beauty Begins with the letter B So why can't you just let her be 
because it's who she be that's what she be and that what she be is who I be. Who I be clearly defines me, the so-called wordplay poet B.I.G. But until we learn to find the fidelity behind the modesty of honesty, we only get to realise that truly honesty is the best policy. Now if honesty is indeed the best policy, here's what I'm trying to make you see. That she may not at all be identical to me, but she is by far the best reflection of me. She is by far the best resemblance of me, and she is by far the best radiance of me. But if I'm not making sense, please ignore me. I'm just telling you what my common sense told me. But if you've got a problem or an issue, oh please go ahead and make use of the 10,726.1 registered law firms in the UK to sue me because I got nothing to lose but I got a lot to gain. So why don't we play a game? Because this is not the blame game. This is the word game, hence my name, the word play. I'm never out of words. You're getting curious. This is delirious. It's not delirious, mate. I'm not promiscuous. I'm not promiscuous, mate. I'm just serious. So now that we play the game, why don't you go ahead and take away the game and the fame because I don't need the game and the fame. But as long as my baby stays the same, I might as well just get mad and backed up without the fame. Because I know for a fact, I need to see some change. Because all my friends will come back and say, mate, we've got lady problems. I'm like, yeah. You know, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, yeah. My I'm like, yeah, I got 99 problems in my lady in the one. As a matter of fact, my lady's a bonus plus. So if these walls could talk, they'd have nothing to say because I've built an 80-foot brick wall around my, around my baby's heart so no idiots I call my friends can come and get to her. They said I was wrong, but they've got to be wrong. How else would she still be here? Because maybe they didn't belong to a group or clique. Maybe they decided to pick her last for basketball of everything, but I'd be the first idiot to pick her up from a million of everything because my baby wasn't built to fit in. She's built to stand out, has been one in a million. So you see, girls, we males have got a foresight. We don't know and we don't care what society says. For all you know, we act this way, we dress this way, we look this way and we love this one just because I'm in love with her. Wow. Wow. I just, I think we need just a, a mo I need a moment. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. It did something for me. First time I met you, uh -huh. I heard that poem. Yeah. And it did something for me. Yes. Um, wow. I'm probably looking at you differently now as well. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, excuse me, people. Private moment. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Maxine. A poem. I'm in love with the size. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you for liberating the plus size. Oh, anytime. You know, because it is a really good poem. Thank you. Yes. I love it. Okay. Thanks. Why did you. You wrote that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why? Well, initially, to be honest with you, if you look at most industries today, modeling agencies, fashion and everything, they're all tailored to just the, the one size in there. Mm. And to me, I don't see it as a, a crime to be a different size, plus size. Okay. So it became a bit personal. Okay. And then that's when I had um, a pageant, a pageant director okay. come up to me and says, um, can you write something to do with um, my whole pageant thing for that night. I thought, okay, okay. Took me six months, but yeah, yeah managed just a lot for little. What was the pageant? The pageant was about? Uh, yes, it was, uh, yeah, it was Miss Big pageant. Okay. So, yeah, it was quite in your face, it was that. Okay. So I took it. It was Miss Big yeah. pageant. Yeah. And the poem was written? By me. By you? <laughs> for the pageant, initially? But yeah, initially. And then I performed at different places after that. Mm -hmm. That's when I met you. Mm -hmm. And yeah. That's mm -hmm. what we all eat, yeah. Yeah. And um, do you believe mm -hmm. the things that you say in that poem? Yes, everything. Everything. Every little thing, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which bit especially? Um, the angry bit. Okay, tell, tell us about it. Um, the angry bit pretty much goes, uh, my anger will erupt like a volcano mm. and my fists will fly in your direction like the rounds of an AK-47 mm. and my heart will explode like a nuclear warhead in a nuclear warfare in 1945 Hiroshima, Japan. Wow! <laughs> so, that's what I mean. That, yeah, I'm bound to, to, to create damage if anyone says anything insulting to that. Okay. Not literally, okay. but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I understand. That's how you feel. Yeah, yeah. And you truly believe that? Yeah, I truly do okay, believe that, yeah. Okay. So what makes a plus-size woman Attractive? Um, to be honest with you, people, well, the society we live in today mm -hmm. is tailored to just a limited, you have to fit into a certain box yeah. to be accepted. Yeah. And I like to break the load a little bit. Okay. So I thought, yeah, why, why can't you just be? 
Yes. Yeah. I think that's what I personally believe in. Just yeah. be, be, who, be you, yeah. be who you want to be. And something that I heard you say, I'm not sure if it was in the poem or in what you were saying, mm -hmm. was also about like fashion, but yeah. just because a woman may be yeah. not the um, supermodel size, yes. the typical supermodel size, that it doesn't mean that she can't dress fashionably, be fashionable. Mm -hmm. Um, actually you can, but the, the whole industry, if you look at the majority of it, mm -hmm. is so tailored to, to just um, the, the, the slim, slender, it gets yeah. to, to, to a certain size. I'm sure if we ask... Maxine, Maxine I'm going to ask her now. Definitely. You'd actually really understand that when you walk into a shop, you get a certain size, they don't mm -hmm. do it. They don't mm -hmm. even tailor for it. Yeah. That's what my problem is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now Maxine, welcome. Hello. Back to On The Couch. Maxine, now I know, what I know of you, is that you're super glamorous, super beautiful, very fashionable, very well put together Thank you. woman, and you're a plus size. Yes. <laughs> How do you manage to do it, Maxine? And oh. what are the issues that you face as a plus size woman? Oh, the, oh God. Thank you for those um, beautiful comments. Mm. Um, it is definitely, as a plus size, it is, it is a, um, an issue getting clothes that you want to wear. Yeah. Um, Luckily, some of the um, stores now are opening up their eyes and saying, you know what, these people want to dress just as, you know, like everybody who's a size 12 and 14. Yeah. And they're, you know, but it's still not enough, I don't think. Okay. Um, and, you know, for, it, it is a struggle. And then for a long so time... So when you go shopping, mm -hmm. where would you shop? Right, for a long time, I used to, because I go um, to America a lot, okay. and I used to do a lot of shopping over there because they cater for our oh, size. Right. Mm -hmm. But now, um, yeah. It just depends really, because I mean, some of the um, stores, I mean like the other day I brought a dress in um, H&M and okay. it was a size 16 and okay. I was like, whoa, and it fits, it's really lovely. Okay. I thought, wow, so it looks like they're becoming more generous now with, yeah. their, with their garments as well. Yes. Or they're realising that and everybody's going to be that kind of, you know, the, the, you know, the silhouette, that dolly, you know, that standard yeah. size. So yeah, but it has been a problem, definitely. Okay. You have to really search to get the right clothes. So how do you keep yourself glam and... Trendy, how do you keep on trend? Oh gosh, I don't, I don't, you know what? I just like shopping, and um, okay, I love shopping. And are, you clo are clothes more expensive? Absolutely, I'll okay. tell you what's more expensive. Um, well, they used to, I think they're getting better now, but like bras, like bras, oh. okay. <laughs> One time years ago, we you know, before well, we have tried it for Dory, but, <laughs> but, but there's more material, yeah. But you know what. <laughs> I used to be so hurt when I used to, you know, other yeah. ladies would go into a shop and pick up a set, like a nice lucky yeah. set, for like a £10, yeah. and I've got to spend like £30 on my bras, yeah. you know, and yeah. Um, yeah. that was upsetting for a long do time. Do you remember things <laughs> like, I do remember, um, like with my grandma, was it, was it Miss Mary of Sweden and all these different, and you'd have to have all these things that you hook up and yeah. squeeze you up yes. and, yes. and things like that and lift you up. Yes. Yeah. You know what, I, d I don't frown upon Miss Mary, I've never wore it yet, okay. but I would love Let's to. Let's describe what Miss very sweet it's, it's like a corset that's like you know the olden days when they used to have the corsets corset to the pool yeah, like yeah. 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 movies and I that mean, <laughs> I will definitely wear one of those okay. yes yeah. but I haven't yet um, I have tried the waist trainer okay and um, it's not very comfortable okay. so I tend not to wear that now because by the time okay. you start putting everything together it just it, it hurts mm -hmm. um, it's just, um, so sometimes some of the stores have like shapers mm. that they can help you to pull in, but I don't think they're that brilliant. Mm. Corsets, the corsets aren't the same as years ago. Okay. They, they, one of years ago used to be more boned and stronger. Okay. Um, now they're just kind of, it's a bit flimsy. Okay. And why would a woman wear a corset? Well, you know what, it, it just helps with the shape of your clothes, really. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't want to be like, if you've got something on and a nice dress or something, you don't want to have like the belly at the front mm. and the belly at the back. You know what I mean? You know, you want to be able to kind of have it just a little bit... Yeah, you know, smooth down. A little bit, smooth you know, down, because I mean, like, you're not going to flatten everything yeah. unless yeah. you have love suction or you lose weight. Okay. But at least it can kind of give you a bit more of a, a definition. Yeah. So, Monia, if yeah. you, I don't know, are you dating or are you married? Are you, if you dated a plus size yeah. woman, then would you want her to be wearing corsets to suck it all in or would you allow her to let it all hang out? No, no, no. Honestly, to be honest with you, no. Because Which is a no. Well, you don't want to let it all hang out? No, no, uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> um, well, I've, I've been out with someone else plus size before. And yes. It's a shame we broke up. But um, she used to be really, really, really nervous and self-conscious, exactly, that's the word. And to me, I'm like, no. 
Mm. You don't have to be that way and that. Wonderful. And she wore um, the corsets a lot. Yeah. Oh, I've had to hide it a couple of times, which didn't end well. Oh, Because <laughs> <yeah. laughs> okay. I didn't want her to wear it whatsoever. Yeah. I was completely happy with the way she was in that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd say if she's comfortable with something, mm. go for it. Okay. Yeah. So, do you think that this is to both of you? So, do you mm. think that um, when they're a couple, and if the woman is a plus size woman, do you think that it's the woman that's more self-conscious and conscious of her size and weight rather than the man? The man who's chosen and maybe and falling in love with that plus size woman has accepted the woman the way that she is. Do you think it's the woman that tends to have an issue or or can it work either way? This is so firstly to Maxine, is it the woman or the man or how does it work or what's your experience? My experience is that, I mean, I'm married to a really lovely man who mm -hmm. doesn't have a problem with my size whatsoever. Okay, I mean, brilliant. it makes me feel like I'm a size 12. Yeah. <laughs> do you know, do you know what I mean? He yeah. never talks about my size. And I've been lucky over the years that any partners that I've had have never been about my size. It's okay. never been a problem. So wow. I've always been quite liberated about, you know, Wonderful. with ex with partners because the size yeah. never came into it. Yeah. Wonderful. And the size never came into it. Wonderful. So I always try to make an effort with well, everything else. I was going to say, you know, you're a very beautiful woman, very that, well so. put together woman. Yeah. But that's part of the issue that sometimes, yeah. I think, as um, people, women, um, gain weight and so on, mm. it has been historically very, very difficult. You'd have to wear like frumpy clothes. I I'm sure there was a time, Maxine, where you might remember that you couldn't find anything. Well, even now, because I mean, um, just yesterday, mm. I went into Evans with somebody else, and the clothes were so drab. drab. And I'm like, Who, who's their buyer? I yeah. need to talk to their buyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you go into another store like Simply B, and you okay. see a bit more fashion. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm thinking, they need to fix up, the buyers need to fix up. Okay, yeah. Mm. yeah that's true. Yeah, Munya, is it the, uh, so in your case, it was the woman that was very, very... Yeah, um, but I've seen a very disturbing case on, um, on mm. Facebook where he had to leave her just because she'd gained weight. Mm. He chose to leave he her, chose he to wouldn't leave accept her. her. Yeah. But obviously she made changes and she changed everything, but it really was too late. That's a bit oh. shallow to me, that's rather... Yeah. I was like, mate, the day I get to meet you. But anyway... Yeah. <laughs> but why do you so, say yeah. that? Why do you mm. say that? Does that mean that you're... Uh, yeah. I'm just going to say this. Yeah. Does that mean that you're like, kind of, you don't have confidence? So you think, oh, I want to be the woman that's plus size because I might not get the size 10 woman. Mm -hmm. It's a question. Nah, that's what I prefer. To me. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Oh, visualising that as a beholder. Lo and behold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, 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 wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I was going to say yeah. that, you know, with them, um, if the man's feeling, you know, if he's like with a lady who's like being a size 12 yeah, and then she's gone to 20, 20, 22, then that could be a yeah. problem then. But yeah. if she's already big when you met her, then no. Yeah, because that's, that's the woman of his And choice. you know, when you're plus size, you've got more flexion, it's more, more sensual. That's what I'm going to say. I think it's more yeah. sensual. I do. The more I take on to me. I You know. Oh, you know. Yeah. I feel my flesh. I'm like, ooh, yeah. sink yeah. into this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. but clearly, you know, because people, you know, I hear people say, well, actually, you know, a skinny, being with like a mm. skinny woman, there's nothing to really hold on to. Well, but, I don't know, I don't know. We're, we're asking you all about yeah. your personal life now. Yeah, um, well, to be honest with you, you've been under you're... pressure, haven't you? Uh, well, it's you, it's my Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, my yeah. friends, you remember in, in the line I said, um, mm -hmm. my friends thought I was crazy on box yeah. and I've lost this. Um, yeah. But you don't know what it's like to hold it. I'm like, thank you, Jehovah. Man. You don't know what it's like, like to, to hold, hold it. it. I'm yeah. thanking Jehovah. Oh, like, thank exactly Jehovah. what she's saying. Yeah. It's actually a true fact because they did say a lot. A lot were thrown in my direction, thrown okay. in her direction when I was dating her. Wow. So it's one of those things that some people just think the complete opposite of how I think. Wow. So it's one of those. Yeah. Yeah. It's annoying, but yeah, it's the way it yeah. is. Really. I think it's all about, um, yeah. it's about taste, isn't it? It's about it's what you want. What, who attracts you, yeah. what attracts you. It's also about being open-minded, yeah. not being um, sizeist, and um, being mature, <laughs> being mature. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. right, thank you both. Okay, we've kind of we've listened to some. What I wanted to ask you before, yeah. before we go is, mm -hmm. you're a wordplay yeah. Why do you say wordplay? Because once upon a time, I was given a dare on stage. A dare? Yeah, a dare. Mm -hmm. And they gave me a photograph. Mm -hmm. And they said, um, can you do something else with it? And just about managed to pull it off. 
in, poetry. Yeah, it was actually from a, a picture. Poetry, from a picture, like um, okay. The whole thing. So that's where my name came from. When you're the word play poet, it plays with words, or from a photograph. Plays with words. Things. So yeah, that's where the whole nickname came from. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I really, really enjoy listening <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> to your poetry. Not just my favourite one. Yeah. In fact, yeah, I think it'd be great. I think we'll have to request that you write yes. one for On the Couch, or even one for Marty M. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That should be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Maxine, thank you so much. Okay, you're thank welcome. Thank you, and you're looking fantastic thank as you. always. Yeah. Thank you. Munya, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome anytime. Thank you for joining you're us welcome. on the couch. Wow. Ooh.